Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adale, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to Psalm number 86, and we'll look at verse 4 and verse 5 as our text verses of Scripture. Now, notice what the Bible says here. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. But thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. And certainly, friend, we would ask that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled Living Without Regrets. You know, my friend, regret is rooted in unresolved guilt. In a choice you made recklessly, a person that you treated unlovingly, or an opportunity you squandered unwisely, you had the chance to influence a situation in a manner that would bless others, exalt God, and benefit your life, but you messed up. And now you're paying the consequences for the mess you made. Does this sound like you? Friend, you don't have to continue living with regret. Go to your loving Savior. Ask for forgiveness and lay down your feelings of guilt. My friend, he may direct you to rectify the mistake made amends to those you've hurt, and forgive anyone who's wounded you. If he does, then obey him immediately, but then move on. Don't continue to beat yourself up over something that God has forgiven. True, my friend, you may still have to live with the consequences related to your choices, but the Father doesn't want you to live with unresolved guilt, shame, or regret. Seek the Lord, and he'll set you free. Think about this, and live your life without regret. Now let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your forgiving spirit, and thank you for forgiving me for healing me and leading me to wholeness in you. I praise you for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, friends, I pray the devotion was a blessing to you today. And if it was, you bless someone else by sharing the devotion with them so that they can be blessed. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today. Have a wonderful and a blessed day.